um, what an eye pin is used for um, and how to cut it down and make um, a loop on the other side. So this is an eye pin. It's basically a straight pin. Um, it's a little thicker around than like a needle and it has a loop on the end of it. So what you would use this for is um, if you wanted to make like little segments that were beaded on a necklace, a bracelet, um, this is what it's used for. Also on earrings, if you're attaching segments of beads together, same thing. So if I wanted to put a bead on here, um, this is what I'm left with. Now there is, um, close to an inch of wire sticking out here. If I make a loop with that right now, that's gonna be a huge loop about the size of the bead itself. And I'm trying to match this size right here. So in order to do that, I need to cut this down. This is something that you'll learn over time, how much wire you need sticking out to match the loop size. Um, with this particular one, I need about a half an inch. If the loop was bigger, then I would need more wire. If it was smaller, obviously I would need less wire. So I'm just going to take my wire cutters and I'm gonna cut this wire down so that there is about a half an inch sticking out. Let's go just a little bit more, okay? Um, I'm gonna take what are called the round nose pliers, like this. Um, I want to grab a hold of the end of the wire with my pliers and you just twist your wrist like this to make that loop. Um, so you can see now there's two matching loops on each side. What you don't want is for one loop to be this direction and the other one to run this way. So like almost like one is um, horizontal and the other one's vertical, you want them to be laying the same, the same way. So if you end up with them being um, not in the same direction, just take your needle nose pliers and turn it so that it would match. Um, so from here, if you wanted to make several of these, you can then just open your loop and connect them together and close them back. So that is it on the um, making loops and using eye pins. Make sure you check back for other tutorials um, using jump rings. Thanks for watching this video. Completed. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.